<laughs> Hello, my best of friends and ladies. Mark the Punk Gamer, aka Mark the Punk here. And I gave you a freaking jump scare. And yes, I'm recording this on Halloween. And yes, this is also my brand new studio album ranking. I really want to get excited to get to. And uh, it's actually another another one of my favorite death metal bands of all time. I am ranking the Haunted albums. The Haunted. So this band is fucking awesome when I got into it. So I was really going to get excited to get to this ranking. So this might be exciting to you guys. So yeah, a band called The Haunted. They're a Swedish death metal band. And that's all I can remember. So, I'm excited to get to this ranking because I fucking like this band now. So, I'm going to start off with the worst one at number 9. My most hated one out of all of them is definitely the Haunted Unseen album. Oh my god, fuck this one. This is when the band tries to do something new for this band. They go way heavy on the girth metal section and no death metal in this, so... Yeah, this is the one album I hate out of all of them, so... This is one of my least favorites, and the one I could not finish getting through. Holy crap. Yeah, this album annoys me, guys, so... For my number 9, is gonna be... The Unseen album. Alright, guys, number 8! So, what I put for number 8... My second least favorite out of all of them is called the Dead Eye album. The reason why this is my second least favorite, um, there's so many songs, so many titles of the song tracks contain the word the, 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 the every time. It's really fucking repetitive on the title names. This is why it's my second least favorite. But I only like a few songs from this, uh, the Dead Eye album. So, the Medication, the Medusa, the Shifter, the the stain, the guilt trap plus hidden song, the exit. Holy crap! There's so many does in this album. Yeah, I only like as a few of their songs in this album. It's just the repetitiveness of the title names containing the word the in the beginning. That's what really annoys me about this one. And what's cool about the limited edition version of the Dead Eye it includes the big um, wobbly eye on it, which is kind of interesting. So. It's one of the limited editions it came out with. But overall guys, this is my second least favorite album. This is the one I can stand listening to, but at the same time not really. Yeah, the Dead Eye at number eight. Number seven. I will pick the Versus album. So this is an interesting one. Uh, it has the blood stain on the cover of it. I wanted to like Versus so bad, but and it turns out to be fucking disappointing. But it's at least this is better than the last two albums I've heard. So what I like from the Versus album: pieces, little cage, trenches, pressure, fault line, and Imperial Death March. So those are the only songs I like from the Imperial. I mean, not Imperial. Wow, from the Versus album. So. This one's a little bit tolerable for me to listen to. And this is from the Peter Dolving era of a different lead singer. It's their Mark Aro. So, Marco Aro. That's how you pronounce his original name. His name. Fuck. I'm speech impediment. Yeah, number seven is gonna be the Versus album. You could have been great. Alright, middle ranking. For my number six pick. I'm actually going to pick the, uh, the One Kill Wonder album. So, this is his last, um, C album appearance with Marco Aurora until he was replaced by Peter Dolphin in the next one, so. This one's pretty cool in my opinion, but it's in the middle for a reason for me, so. It could have been cool, it could have made it to my top in my ranking, but no, you're stuck in the middle where you are. So this one's pretty, I think, uh, it's kind of average in my opinion, the One Kill Wonder album. But I do like a lot of, um, a lot of these songs, so. Shadow World, Everlasting, DOA, Demon's Eye Smells Cool, Urban Predator, Downward Spiral, Shithead, 
and lastly One Kill Wonder. So those are songs I do like from this One Kill Wonder album. And it's his last appearance in this album, so it's pretty average in my opinion. But in my opinion there's other albums I like better in the top five. So. Number six, I will pick One Kill Wonder. Alright guys, from five to one, I really love all the tracks in this one, and this is a no fucking joke or exaggeration about this, so these top five I really like, so be prepared for this one. This is my top five favorites of the Haunted albums. So, my number five is going to be Strength and Strength and Numbers. So This is our only latest one they have in back in 2017. Their only latest one. It's the return of um, Mark uh, Marco Aura era since he came back in the band, the original lead singer. So yeah, he came back and it's actually pretty kick-ass this album is Strength in Numbers. So I like all tracks, so Fill the Darkness with Black, Instrumental, Brute Force, Spark, Creatures of Death, Strength in Numbers, Tighten the Noose, This is the End, The Fall, Means to an End, and lastly, Monuments. So, yes, this is the one I like all the fucking tracks in this one. It's their only latest one they have. And I hope they come out with a new album in the future if I hear rock news about it. I don't know, so... Will I get my information? We'll never know. So, I really love this one, guys. It's awesome. So, for my number five, it's going to be Strength in Numbers. Number four, another one I like all tracks in, is going to be Exit Wounds. Why do I like Exit Wounds more than Strength in Numbers? Because this one has more tracks, that's why. This is the one I do like more, so... Exit Wounds pretty awesome. This is actually the return of the original lead singer on this one. So Exit Wounds pretty this one's another kick-ass the haunted album I've ever heard too. And I like all tracks, so 317 intro, Cutting Teeth, My Salvation, Psychonaut, Eye of the Storm, Trend Killer, Time Will Not Heal, All I Have, Temptation, My Enemy, Kill the Light, This War. Infiltrator, Ghost in the Machine, and that's about it. I like all 14 tracks. Yeah, the reason I put this at number 4 is because it has more tracks than the last one. So, this is another kick-ass album in my opinion. I really like this one, guys. So, for my number 4, it's going to be Exit Wounds. Alright, top 3, guys. Bronze, Silver, to Gold at the end. So, these are my top 3 favorites of all time. So, I'm really excited to get my top three right here. So, I'm really excited. So, let's just not bullshit around and just say my number three bronze medal winner for this one is it's going to be the Revolver album. This is one of the best Peter D uh, Dal Dalbing's appearance in this album. So, this is one of the best ones in the Peter D Dalbing lineups. So, this one is actually better. Than the other shit. Yeah, this one's better. I love the Revolver album. It's a sick ass cover too with the hand. It has six fingers instead of five. Which is actually pretty damn cool, in my opinion. Yeah, this is one of um, Peter Dalbing's best ones in the lineup. So I like all songs No Compromise, 99, Abysmal, Sabotage, All Against All, Sweet Relief, Burp to, sh to a Shell. Who will decide nothing right? Liquid Burns, lastly, my shadow. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I like all the tracks in this one, and this is Peter Belving's best one in his appearance. So, for my number three Bronze Medal winner, I'm definitely gonna give it to the Revolver album. Alright, top two. So, which are gonna be my top two? It could be my number one my next day, or the next day. It's really hard, guys. These are the top of my most favorite ones I like listening to mostly. So, what I'm going to put for my number two Silver Medal winner, um, I'm going to have to give it to The Haunted 1998 debut album at my number two spot. This is awesome to start off with in their debut. It's really fucking cool. Their 98 debut album. I really love the hell out of their debut, so, which is awesome. 
so I really like this one. So the reason is that Silver Metal number two. So I got number one that's better than this one. So I'll name out the tracks of the debut: Hate Song, Chasm, In Vain, Undead, Chokehold, Three Times, Bullet Hole, Now You Know, Shatter, Soul Fracture, Blood Rust, and lastly, Ferrand Sick. So those are the only songs. So that's all the songs I do like in their debut. I, it's a really good debut, guys. So no joke, I really like their debut. But I have number one that's better. So for my number two song, my winner, I give it to their 1998 debut. But my number one gold medal winner out of all the haunted albums I do like, but it might switch one day to go back to the original debut. But who knows, guys? So, but my number one gold medal winner is definitely made me do it album. I like this more than the debut. It's more amped up. It's more death metal vibe to it. I think it's one of the most well produced albums since their first debut, in my opinion. And it's one of best Marco Aro's best vocal death performance. I like this one. This is the best one out of all of them, in my opinion. I like this one. Made me do it is awesome. So I'm gonna name all tracks in this one. So I'll do it. So Dark Intentions, cool instrumental to start off with. Bury Your Dead's cool. Trespass. Leech is one of their best fucking songs in this album. Awesome. Hollow Ground's cool. Revelation. The World Burns. Human Debris. Silencer. Under the Surface. And lastly, Victim Iced. So, yes. This is the number one gold medal winner album I really like, guys. So, definitely my number one. Holy crap. So, ugh. So... Yeah, my number one gold medal winner is definitely The Haunted Made Me Do It album. So, there you go. And I hope you guys enjoyed that, um, enjoyed The Haunted studio album ranking worst to best. So, I heard that Limp Bizkit released their new album this Halloween, by the way. So, I'm definitely doing a ranking on Limp Bizkit next. So, Trippie and, and all the other bands will have to wait on this one. So, I really want to get into the ranking now, so, since their new one just came out, so, I'm really excited to get to the Limp Bizkit ranking, so, we'll see what happens. I know Fred Durst is one of the most hated singers of all time, I get it guys, so, I have mixed opinions on it too, I'm not harshly hating him, I just have mixed opinions about, about it. Fred Durst, but other than that, um, other bands have to wait. I'm definitely going to be ranking Limp Bizkit now, so, holy crap, so, <sighs> hmm, all in all guys, this band is fucking awesome, the Swedish death metal band of all time, I'm glad I, cr I ran across this band, The Haunted, I really did, it's really cool, I recommend listening to it, listen to the first couple albums, and you will be satisfied, satisfied, trust me, kick ass band. So I'm going to end this ranking video right here, guys, so subscribe to me if you haven't, click the bell to get notified on the next video and comment like about this, and most importantly, share this studio album ranking, so I get more views and subscribers. Oh, you can friend me on Facebook on my Facebook page in the description of the video as well, and I will see you later, my best friends and ladies.